filled with darkness. Get away from me, you hag! Where am I? Let me go! Guess we go through. Now you will never get her back. I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. Oh, and click. feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. Okay. So that was the beginning. Oh no. Oh, she was pulling her, right? And hey there, freak show. <laughs> Good morning to you, sir. most probably the game ending cutscene that's why I was being quiet and we're still watching a little bit of it welcome back Danny Big show I am great today and it seems we're getting to the very end of the main story of Alan Wake let's see what happens and then we have still two DLCs to do so this is the deer fest that was planned indeed Dum dum dum, da da da. 
Indeed, and it is puzzling because we supposedly vanished and Alice got out of the water. But we were gone. And we are still writing. Oh my. <laughs> so we got two achievements actually. Departure, which is uh, complete the game on normal difficulty. And there was something called Hard Boiled Rider. That's just my assumption. <laughs> oh my. So, uh, great game. And we have about an hour to go. So I'm gonna check if we can really start. Hmm. Episodes, normal. Yep, so now we have it. But Albus is being needy a little bit, so I'm gonna pet Albus first. Hey there, buddy. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna pet you a little bit. Because you want my attention so bad. I was actually worried because Albus starting to, to move around and growl and jump at me right during the, the end cutscene and all that ending stuff. So that wasn't very pleasant for me. That was also one uh, reason while I was being kind of quiet. But you know me, I don't wish to spoil any major cutscene or anything, or any major game dialogue, storyline dialogue, so I am quiet during that time. And that's what I'm gonna do all the time. <laughs> so don't be surprised. Okay, so we have the signal and the rider. Hey there, buddy. Hey there. 
I love you. I'm going to give him a treat. How about that? Is Chet for a treat? <laughs> Does Chet agree? And by the way, Danny, uh, what did you have for lunch? And Freak Show, so what is your plan for today? Boop. Okay. Treat the good boy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give him something. Boop, boop. Okay, he got two small treats. And, uh, Danny, I had cheese on toast. That actually sounds great. Haha. <laughs> Yum. Freak show. So today I'm going to relax. Been busy and having a rough time lately. I did get a new job outside of the car wash and start next week. Though, so that is good. That really is great, Freak show. Uh,. If you don't mind me asking, what's that second job about? So you will work two jobs? That's gonna be tough, but yeah, if it's if it's needed, then it's it's really needed. I understand. <laughs> Danny, wow, two treats indeed. Indeed, he got two treats. Uh, but I don't know, today I feel like he's chewing on, on his paws even more, and I don't know what to do about it. Yeah. I guess we will need to wash them again. We were trying to treat his paws with uh, with sort of a butter. It's a butter product. But, uh, you know, he just licks it off. <laughs> so, no, I stopped at the car wash, but I'm going to be a retail service representative for Target and Menards. Good! So, it's going to be better, isn't it? It's, uh, it's not so much of a manual labor type of thing that you were doing at the car wash. And it actually means something towards a resume or something. Congratulations. Congrats to that. That's great. Okay, uh, let's start the signal, shall we? Albus, can we start the signal? Can we, please? Come to daddy. <laughs> Come to papa. Okay. Previously on Alan Wake, something I only know as the dark presence held my wife captive and used her to write a horror story I'll that came it. true. I'll bring her back. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. I was trapped somewhere in the dark place, a strange zone somewhere beyond our world. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After the completion of any difficult undertaking, there are mixed emotions. Accomplishment and relief. Sadness, depression. For a while, everything was about the work. Like an illness that consumed you, changed you. You locked yourself away from the world to do it, and now you need to recover. Learn to live without it. Find a way to crack open the door and let the light back in. I knew this place. It was familiar. But wrong somehow. Welcome to the... Everything had a surreal, dreamlike quality. I can't believe it. I've got 
I had okay. a disturbing feeling of deja vu. From the bookstore. I... Just a second, so uh do, 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 freak show. So not quite as many hours, but better hours and better pay. Great. So good in all ways. Yes, I mainly took the job because of the resume aspect. I'm very happy that I got my first job outside of labor. Congratulations. That feels so great. Albus, you know what? You're going to have to give me the ball because he's bringing me the ball to throw for him. And we really cannot do that right now. I will do that after we finish. Congratulations, Freak Show. So better resume and better pay. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you. Ah, uh, thank you. Thanks to Danny as well. And Albus, please. I'm getting distracted, you know. Do I need to close you? Albus. He can still go into the puppy fence. But I will rather try to let him settle down and we, we can continue, right? No idea why I was here or where I had been before this moment. But something was waiting for me at the back of the diner. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Huh. All right. Investigate the restroom. I'm having a conversation with <laughs> Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. <laughs> Number six in the jukebox. Of course, of myself, course. We're going to do it. Both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. Okay, we already know that. Oh, and there is an alarm clock. I guess we need to go around and grab it. Okay, we will investigate first. And let's hope we can we can get there. There is our Lady of the Light. Ah! Bam. Alan, listen to me. Go no deeper. What? Focus. You're losing yourself. I will try to help the best I can, but it's up to you. Find a better point of contact. What do you mean? I cannot hear you. Please, you're the one making all this happen. Concentrate. This is what's happening. Nightmares. Too deep. Can't take the pressure. It's too much. Suddenly, Wake found himself face to face with himself. At the sight of myself, the dream suddenly became lucid. The dark place. That's where I was. You will need weapons. It's not the light itself, but what it represents. You will need it. All right. This is not a gun. It is a tool in a logical process of elimination. Be careful. I will try to find a better point of contact. I didn't understand Zane's message, and knowing where I was didn't fix anything. Something had gone wrong after I had finished departure. Indeed. And by the way, if you remember the, the little scene in the cutscenes where he was sitting and writing, those two windows really looked like we were kind of looking out of Zane's dive suit. At least I believe so. It really looked like we are in Zane's head. What the hell was that? Zane had come back. The diner had become deserted. Then the door was smashed off his hinges and Wake had to fight for his life. Again? Oh, 
There we go. I guess my girlfriend is returning, so maybe we will hear some Albus alarm. Oh dear. <laughs> Get ready for the alarm. We'll see, we'll see. He went to the door. But maybe. I'm, I'm waiting for it. Okay, collectible alarm clock, one out of ten. Zane, wait for me. Oh. Okay, we're back. The world had become twisted. These trees didn't belong here. I don't have ammo for this. All right. Running wasn't such a bad idea. Still no alarm, so I don't know what he heard on the on the staircase. Okay, we're not going up as well. <laughs> what is this? A bear Buddha? Looks like it. go I knew it was my writing but the words were jumbled dreamlike fragments reloading frantically the rounds of the slippery just stone was thrown fingers. away from the tent the bed looked inviting but it was just the radio I had to go on she was startled by the phone Okay. Hello? I'm trying to reach you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. Listen, I can help you, but you're drifting deeper. I can't reach you. You must come to me. I can't maintain the connection. Use the words. Follow the signal. Okay. It made no sense for the GPS system to work. I doubted any satellite was in range here. These were alien skies. But it was guiding me towards something. Towards Zane? Ooh, there is something over there. Uh. Okay, I chose a word, but I don't know what I did. Okay, heavy duty flashlight. <laughs> I said duty. Flare gun. Awesome stuff. What is this? Batteries! Okay, very nice. 
So they took the concept from the ending of the game where we had to kind of create our own path with the words, with choosing the words. And now we are choosing the words to actually get stuff. Something had shifted again. The dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. True, true. The town itself turned against Wake. Cars flew toward him. He cracked bone and crushed muscle. It oozed hate. He wanted to bury him. Ooh la la. Follow the GPS signal. I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> Smack in the face with a car. Yeah, with two cars, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> the dark place was playing tricks on me. It wouldn't stay still. The town itself turned against Wick. Cars flew toward him. me in oh my okay I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it <laughs> so Danny welcome back what have you missed uh, yeah I did pick it up I did pick it up but uh, since then we got into another house had to out outrun a couple of enemies and uh, it seems like they're using uh, they are using the same approach as by the end game where you have to uh, light the words that you wish to use and this time we're actually getting uh, guns or batteries through those words previously at the ending of the game it was used to create your path towards the house and sorry i got an sms okay so my beloved went uh, to pick up something to the to the post to the post office and she will go for a little shopping as well so that's that i'm just going to reply real quick and we will continue okay there we go all better now <laughs> Okay, we managed to outrun a few crazy cars. Okay, tools. Okay. One car down, I guess there are more of them. Okay, did I pick everything up? Yeah, there are more cars over there. I guess I will still need to take care of it. There we go. Checkpoint reached. Really? Just like that?